Hey girls, so today's video is going to be a combination of a try on and styling because I am going to put together full outfits for you. I'm going to label every outfit which will make it easier when you go down below. As always I will link everything but I will label like outfit one and then everything I'm wearing. I do, I'm calling it an Abercrombie try on because I have some pieces I've bought from Abercrombie in the last month I want to say that I never actually created a try on for. I felt like it wasn't enough pieces. I just shared them over on Instagram. They might be like in other videos that aren't Abercrombie videos and just styling videos. But what I notice is that my Abercrombie try-ons get way more views. So if you watch my try-ons and you don't watch my style videos, you might actually be missing some new pieces. So of course I say watch everything, but if it doesn't excite you, obviously you shouldn't. So every outfit I'm gonna show you today is going to have a newer piece from Abercrombie that's in my wardrobe. And like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen the pieces already, or I may have already shared them in another try on. It's hard for me to keep track of everything, but I have a pretty good idea of pieces I haven't showed you. And it's really just this blazer that I'm wearing. This just came in. So I literally just wore this last night. And then I think another blazer and then bodysuits tops. I think that's it. Not really bottoms. Um, but as I style everything that's new from Abercrombie, you'll see pieces that aren't necessarily from Abercrombie. Like I'm wearing these a gold day jeans and I'll give you a full look shortly. Um, but like I did talk all about these gold day jeans in another video and maybe you missed that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my plan for today. I don't even know right now how many outfits it's going to be. So it's either going to be a surprise or it's going to say it in the title. We shall see. But actually what I'm wearing, I wore to date night last night. My husband and I went out to dinner um, at a wine bar slash tapas restaurant where there was actually a saxophone player playing, which was really cool. And then we went to a comedy show at a local theater right after that we could just walk to, which was great. And my whole outfit was based around this blazer. It's a very light pink, very super light pink blazer that I got in from Abercrombie. I was waiting for it to come in. I was so excited. So when I went to get dressed last night, I started getting dressed and then I remembered, oh my gosh, I want to wear the blazer. So I put the whole outfit around the blazer. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my camera and get started with the first outfit. Okay, so here is the full outfit. I wanted the blazer to really be the statement piece of the outfit, so I kept the rest of my look very simple. I'm wearing this Sweetheart tank top. It has that little triangle piece there. This is older from Abercrombie, but they have similar ones I will link. These are my new A Gold Day Riley Croft jeans. I love them. They have a button fly. And then these new shoes I just picked up from Nordstrom. They are by the brand Steve Madden. And I did size down in them to an eight instead of an eight and a half. They are so comfy. Um, I had them on last night, like walking from the restaurant to the theater to the car no problems at all absolutely love them I do have to tell you about these jeans so I have them in my true size and if you watch the gold day video you'll know what I'm talking about but they are rigid they're not stretchy and that was very obvious last night um, as soon as I put them on I'm like oh these are snug and I'm sitting in the car and I'm sitting at the restaurant and of course I'm eating and drinking <laughs> and they were definitely snug like I'm not gonna lie, during <laughs> during the comedy show, I did like undo the top button because you're just sitting there for like 90 minutes and they just felt so tight. They actually feel a little bit better now putting them on. I think like each time I wear them, even though they're rigid, you know, maybe I'll stretch them out a little bit. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely not going to stretch, which is a good thing because I hate when I put something on and then by the end of the night, it's too baggy. This is definitely, not going to happen with these at all, but I love them and I was so excited to get to wear them. Um, I'll take the blazer off just so you can see what this top looks like. I've had this top a while. I love it. It's such a good, just like classic piece. 
to have something like this in your wardrobe of just a black top you can easily grab and it's like a little bit more of a dressier material it just zips on the side I'm wearing it a small just fits perfectly some of their tops feel very tight through the rib cage this one does not but I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a closer look of the blazer. It's very similar to my tan blazer from Abercrombie if you've seen it, except that this one doesn't have any buttons on the sleeves and that one does. Um, I got it in a small, you could see it fits very well. Just has the one button in the front and then just these pockets in the front. Are they even, they're not even real pockets. I mean, nobody uses a blazer pocket, do they? Actually, it is a real pocket if I unstitched it. For the next outfit, I started off with this crochet tank from Abercrombie. And I shared this a few weeks ago over on my Instagram stories. And I think I made a comment about how I wish I would have sized down in it. Well, it turns out they sent a medium. I wouldn't have ordered a medium, so I think they just sent the wrong size. I have it tucked into the shorts. I'll let you see, like it has this fitted vertical look, then it's the crochet part and the little circle, and there's nothing to adjust. I really will need to put on a small to compare. It just feels like it's not supposed to be this much material. Um, or I'd have to wear something more low rise, but I imagined it with these dad jeans. So I tucked it in for now, but I am gonna see if I can go ahead and just order a small online and take this one back. It is a crocheted material. It's still lightweight enough for spring and summer. I love the pink color. I love it paired with the longer dad jeans. These are dad jeans from last year, uh, but they came out with them again. These might not be, I don't know, the ones this year I think are a seven inch seam. I'm not sure what these are, but I'll see what I can find for you girls. And then I went ahead and paired the outfit with these pink pearl slides by Stuart Weitzman. I've had these, I got them I think last year. Um, I mean, they're definitely not new this year, but I believe I bought them probably around a year ago. And I love them. They're so cute. They're like, they call them a, like pearl jelly slide. And this is the pink color. I get them in a nine because they don't come in half sizes. Uh, they also come in a clear and a black, but... I just feel like they are so cute and they're very comfortable. I kind of have gotten away from the thong sandals. I used to only wear sandals like the thong sandals and then I kind of, well no, what am I saying? I have all the Tory Burch Millers. You know what? I guess what I'm saying is that I haven't like really bought any new thong sandals. Everything I've bought has been slides, I feel. Um, I know. So I used to buy sandals exactly like this where it was like the tee. I had like every color coach made and it was all I wore anytime I would look for sandals. This was before I bought Miller's. I always bought this exact style and then I got so tired of it but I made an exception for these because I just thought they were so pretty. They're just so pretty with the pearls and it's like if you feel like you have more of like a basic outfit on these will just up your outfit a little bit. So I love them. But yep, so again with this top, I'm going to see about getting a small. And it also comes in cream and that pretty orange color that Abercrombie has been doing. Next I have another blazer for you. I've had this one a little bit. It hasn't made it into a try-on. And I really honestly hadn't seen that it was even available online. It maybe was for like a day and then it was gone. And when I just checked right now, it is available online only in an extra small and a small. Online they call it brown and it doesn't look like the color it looks like in real life. For me I would say it's a clay. I'm assuming it's the same one because it's a linen blazer and they're showing I think they're showing it in white and the brown. Um, I'm wearing the small if I didn't say that. I haven't worn this one out yet but I went and just did like a neutral monochromatic look. I have on a pair of of cream denim jeans from Abercrombie. These are a pair of straight jeans and this ribbed bodysuit. Um, there's a stain on it from the other night, but I wanted to share it. Um, it's 
everything is Abercrombie except my shoes. So this is a small. These are my true size 26. And the blazer is a small. And I just put on my new Vince Camuto cream slides. But I love the monochromatic look. I feel like you can do a mix mixture of like white and cream. Um, if I had a cream bodysuit like this color, I would have done that. But any bodysuit I have is more like tan or brown. It's not really cream. And then I also could have done like my white jeans too. So just like an all white look with the blazer. I mean, you could obviously style it multiple ways. I just like the look of like the light monochromatic look with the blazer. This blazer, yeah, they all fit. Like this fits about the same as the pink one with just the white, but I never button them, but you can button in the front. It has the same pockets. There's no buttons here. This doesn't have the split in the back. This one is very lightweight. The pink one is a little bit heavier just cause of the material, but not itchy or anything like that. They've got like a shiny lining inside there so that's what you feel you don't feel the lift. Okay I'm not sure if I've shared these next two pieces on an Abercrombie try on yet so if I have you're gonna see them again but first is this ribbed halter. Um, I think I probably did share this but I ended up having to take it back because there was a mark on it so I got a new one and I actually also picked this up in a bodysuit so it's exactly the same but a bodysuit. Um, I'll definitely link it down below because I wore it the other night so it may be dirty but it's going to give you the same look it's just not going to be popping out at all. And then these are my Curve Love Mom jeans. I know I shared these on YouTube. I'm just not sure if it was on an Abercrombie try-on. But I bought these in my true size 26. You can see like the mom jeans fit shorter. Um, I don't get short. They're supposed to fit shorter like that. That's just the whole idea of the mom jeans. I have the same just tan slides on. And this is another like monochromatic neutral outfit. These are both considered white, even though I feel like these jeans don't look as white as the tank, but technically they're both labeled as white. And this is another, uh, this is another outfit where you could take any blazer and pop it on over. So it'd be like a monochromatic look with really, well, any blazer or outer layer that you would want to do. But I feel like this would look really cute with my pink blazer that I shared. Next I have this bodysuit. It's a Lisa bodysuit. It also comes in black and well it comes in black or white and obviously this is like the cream tan color. I'm wearing it in a small. I love it. It fits very very well. It's not adjustable with the straps. It just has the lace up. I'm just wearing my nipple covers like I do with most bodysuits. Um, haven't worn it yet. I always keep tags on things until I wear it. Um, it's just a good way for me to know that I haven't worn a piece of clothing yet. It doesn't mean I'm not keeping it. Um, or if I go to like photograph something, then I'll take the, the tags off too. But these are the mid-rise uh, boyfriend shorts that I picked up in what all three washes or technically I have four washes now and it just really hasn't been short season yet. I've worn shorts a couple times to the farmer's market but I haven't wanted to wear white shorts yet so I haven't worn these out yet but I really am just loving the white and cream like just neutral looks. I paired on just a pair of my Tory Burch Miller's just a neutral color flat and then I feel like if I wanted to do a layer for this, I'm thinking that, let me see, I think just the button down. Like, I've told you girls I'm not crazy in to button downs. I really like them as a bathing suit cover up, but I, I mean, blazers are my favorite right now. I, I can't really see how I would wear a blazer with this. So I'm thinking if I wanted a layer, just a button down shirt. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute, especially because me leaving, living right by the beach, it's always breezy and I always like to protect my shoulders from the sun. So a button down is a nice, easy cover up. I'm just not someone who's going to wear a button down to dinner, even though it is such a classic chic look. 12 years of private school of having to wear collared shirts to school will do that to you. It's like, I don't want to wear a collared shirt, but I'll make an exception for like island beach life. 
so this works even like a tan one button down could be cute or just kind of wanted to give you a layering idea. Okay so I misspoke before because my white haltered bodysuit is not red so it's not exactly the same as that tank I showed you. It's a smooth seamless finish. I'm not sure if they have the bodysuit and ribbed or not. Um, I feel like I didn't make that up and I must have seen it, but I'm not sure. But they definitely have a seamless bodysuit halter like this that comes in gray. I actually have it in black also. I think it comes in pink. It's one of those things where Abercrombie will kind of like add colors. Like they'll release it in a couple colors and then they add colors. So when I just looked it up, I feel like there were five or six colors. I went ahead and paired the bodysuit with these linen shorts. These are from last year. They're just like a core, another terracotta linen short. I'll just link whatever linen shorts they have this year. And then I put on a little bit of a higher heel because I feel like if you want to go out but you want to wear shorts this is a good way to dress up a shorts outfit put on linen shorts and then put on a like in my case a block heel if I'm going this high it's going to be a block these are a newer pair by Dolce Vita I've had the black for a long time so I finally bought the cream and I like having the Vince Camuto ones and these because the heel height is so different and they're both super comfy these are true to size these I stick with eight and a half. I don't size down like I do at the other sides. I don't know why I'm questioning myself, but I know that these are my true size. And then this is an outfit where now we've got some options for an outer layer. So a denim jacket is like an obvious. I, however, really want to see what, ooh, I feel like I would do a white or um cream blazer this white blazer i recent this is not abercrombie i got this at south mood under it's by the brand bb dakota and this looks pretty cute i bought this I actually just size up in this to a medium uh it's a linen material also so i like this this looks really good still fine with the cream shoes are kind of just like an extension of the foot i kind of want to see if I like that one, and stay up there. Now let's just hang it back up. Let's see if we like that or my tan one better. If you guys don't like blazers, throw on a denim jacket, throw on a jacket. I'm just like loving blazers right now. And then here's the tan. Okay. I like both. I think I like the tan better only because I like the color block look. The white is a lot of white. It's still okay though. But I think if I had to choose, I would choose this look. This this blazer is also more structured, I would say. Um, material wise, it has more like that dressy vibe. So it could also just depend on like where you're going to dinner and how dressy you want to look. I'll link both blazers down below, but yeah, definitely loving this spring summer. This is the same bodysuit in black, and I forgot to say before, but I size down in these bodysuits, so I actually get an extra small. Um, I just have to in certain things, and this is one of them. I went ahead, and this is similar to like the first outfit I started with, but these are my 80s mom jeans. I just want these to be in every video because they're that good. I also size down in these. So these are 25 and you can see they're not too short, but they're just a baggier fit. So I size down in them. And then I have the same black sandals on. I could do like any blazer with this again, right? Like we could do the pink one. We could do the neutral one, the brown one, like any blazer will go with this, which is so cute. Um, I'm trying to see. Just put that black one on. I mean, this is basically the first outfit I started out with. It's just a different top and well, it's a bodysuit instead of a top and different jeans, right? But I mean, you can see how you can take any black and denim in your closet and totally do this look with the. I styled this bodysuit another more casual way for you and I know I haven't shared any bags in this video but 
I've been obsessing over the Lululemon belt bags. I have three of them now, and this one with the black and white stripe is so cute. So this one doesn't, um, this is called the crossbody bag, so it doesn't have the clip like the belt bags, but I wear them all the same way across body. And then I have on my mid-rise boyfriend shorts. These are the ones from last year. They're the lighter wash. And then I put on these platform sandals by Sam Edelman. These also come in black, which might look better. I'm just been trying to find different ways to style these white sandals. And I feel like when I wear them with white, it's too much white. So I was trying to do the black and white look. I'm not sure if I like it though. I think the outfit would probably just be better with just a black sandal. Let me know what you guys think down below. I still haven't worn these out yet, but I like really want to like them. They're super comfortable. Um, I just have to, I just still haven't quite figured out the best way to style them yet. Besides like jeans and a white bodysuit, they look okay. Um, but I want to have more options than that. But either way from the shoes, ooh, somebody asked me if they made a weird noise and I feel like I just heard it and the sandals. I'm going to have to pay attention. But from the shorts up, I definitely like the outfit. Okay, girls, I think that's everything from Abercrombie that never got put into its own haul. And I'm sure there'll be another one soon. I feel like it's time for me to do another order. I've been waiting for them to release more new arrivals that I like. Like lately, I haven't been as thrilled about the new arrivals, which I know is weird. But also, I have been trying to like really go through my closet and get rid of things. And buy things that are lacking in my closet. Obviously staples like black and white bodysuits and things like that. I really do think you can have, you can't have too many. Um, but I'm trying to, it's funny. This is going to be a little bit of a rant, so you can just click off if you don't want to hear it, but not a rant, but you know what I mean? So when I, before I started Rose Gold Fashion Blog, I had done like a really massive I've always been into clothes and stuff but I had done a really massive purge of my closet I was very particular about what I bought like anytime I went to the mall I had a list of things that I needed to add to my closet and I stuck to that list sometimes I'd let myself buy like one or two things that you know weren't on my list but that I really liked and whatever um and then I and I had really gotten to the point where I didn't have like an excessive amount of things. And then I started Rose Gold Fashion Blog because COVID hit, my husband and I moved. I was just looking for something else, like something else that wasn't work. And that became this. <laughs> But it turned into me having to buy a lot because you can't do try-ons without buying things. And I keep most of the stuff if it fits and I like it. So now I've been, you know, purging again and I've kind of realized like things I bought and I didn't wear or I shouldn't have bought and I don't want to do that. And while I'll sell things or donate things so that they're not just being trashed, I do want to be a little bit more purpose purposeful about my videos. So I do want to do more videos that have to do with like styling basic pieces and investing in classic pieces and not to just, I don't want to say trendy. I mean, I do buy trendy, but not just fast fashion. Um, and again, I'm repeating myself, but you know, certain like basics you have to keep rebuying. I don't care what quality a white tee or bodysuit is. It's only going to last for so long. I had a white tee from Anthropology that was like $80. It had some button, gold buttons on it. It's still only, it still got to a point where it became a dingy tee. It doesn't matter if it's $10 or a hundred. Eventually, it's not going to last forever. Whereas like blazers and certain denim are. Um, but yeah, if you stuck around through the rant, put a heart emoji down below. Actually put an orange heart emoji down below and I'll know you made it through my sidebar. And I'll see you girls really, really soon. Bye.